Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm talking about the Retroid Pocket 4 again. Um, this time I wanted to get into more of the emulation side. I'm going to be covering mainly the Dolphin emulator. That's for GameCube, Nintendo Wii, uh, because that's the one I have set up the most. Uh, and I'll briefly go over the uh, SNES 9X that I have here, as well as the Game Boy Color. So for the SNES 9X, there's no issues with any of the games. Um, the games are all fine. You know, can just randomly choose a game just to show you guys that it all works. Uh, so I have a whole bunch of games here. The good thing with the SNES 9X is that you can use the zip files. You don't have to unzip every single game file to play the game. So that's a good thing. Um, anyways, it's very straightforward, very simple uh, to set it up. It's also very simple. It's not really that difficult. And I, I don't even think I had to mess around with the settings for this. So, uh, as you can hear, it works fine, but again, for this system, it shouldn't have any issues, to be honest, because the uh, system is perfectly, even your old, probably your old personal device can handle Super Nintendo games. That's not really an issue. Um, next is the GameCube, uh, sorry, not GameCube, the Game Boy Color. Uh, this is the app that I'm using. The good thing about this app is that they have... Um, this distinct symbols here to tell you that oh this is a color version with the yellow and the classic Game Boy is with no color so uh, the bad thing is that it can not emulate colors for the old games like the way that the Game Boy color actual machine could do so um, that's one thing that's a problem with this app and I think it's the same with many other apps they can't uh, reconfigure the colors for uh, the classic Game Boy uh, games. Anyways, it's very straightforward. Everything works fine. Um, there's no real big issues with the Game Boy. Oops, I think I just turned it off. But um, anyways, there's no real issues. Sound is very good. Let me see if I can find a game that starts out pretty quick. Uh, randomly choose another game here. Let's just choose Zelda. So you can hear the, uh, the sound. Everything is fine. And let's choose a color one so you can see that the color, so even the interface changes. This is, uh, I don't know if you can tell through the camera, but this here is like a blue color. And I mean, the colors are exactly what you would get off of the Game Boy Color. I used to have a uh, Game Boy Advance that used to do the color for me. And it's the colors are more or less the same. So whatever you get from the actual machine is pretty much what you would get um, with this. So next up, um, let's get into the main thing, which is the Dolphin emulator. So the Dolphin emulator, um, it does take some time to set it up. Uh, if you've never set it up before, expect to take about 30 minutes to get it all going. It does get a little confusing with the Wii side of it. So the GameCube side is one emulator um, portion that you will need to set up as well as the Wii is the second portion that you would need to set up um, for yourself. And uh, the other part of this emulator is that uh, this emulator also contains the ability to emulate some of these old uh, Super Nintendo games that they created for the Wii. So if you were playing some old games, you can um, also download those and get them. I can't tell you how to get these games. That's going to be up to you to get. Uh, sorry about that part, but let's go from the easiest up. So it claims that you need a classic controller, which you can set up uh, through the settings, and uh, everything works fine. Uh, there's no issues with this side, although I only have a limited amount of games, and as well as you only produce a limited amount of games. So uh, if you're going to play it, everything works fine. No real issues. And I'm going to show you the gameplay because sometimes when you're loading it, it will lag or whatever. This is perfectly fine, as you can see. And I'm not going to go through the gameplay of it because that's not what this video is about. But uh, as you can see there, the sound is fine. Everything is fine. Uh, these are just some games that I have here. Breath of Fire 2, Metal Marines and stuff. Um, there's, Like I said, there's only a very limited amount. So going, like I said, bottom up. So here, uh, for the game 
cube emulator, there are some issues that you will encounter. Not all games run smooth. And I'm going to show you. It's odd because you would think that uh, some of the games that you would assume are high demand, like, for example, Star Fox, I would assume that it's on high demand because of all the movements in the firing and the plane moving. But in reality, it's not that much um, demand on the system. So let me turn it down a bit. So as you can see here, it runs very smoothly with the Star Fox. Um, and like I said, I, I thought that it might have issues because of the amount of uh, firing and stuff, the movement. I'm going to get to the gameplay on this one because I want to show what it's like. And all these controls and stuff, you're going to have to set it up, set it up yourself. Um, and I recommend going through some tutorial videos on how to set it up because that's what I need. And again, if you have the experience, you're probably going to be fine with it. But uh, it just expect it to take a little while to get this all going. And let's see here. So as you can see here, it works perfectly fine. And considering that the amount of graphics that you're getting here uh, and the movement of all the bullets and everything, everything works fine. And um, just to show you that, if uh, sorry, I'm getting a little distracted because I'm playing, but everything here works fine. And uh, even though, let's see, so like Luigi Man uh, Mansion also works fine, Paper Mario works fine, I play those. Uh, these are some classic games, but what I wanted to show you guys a game that doesn't work very well, which is this Final Fantasy game. I mean, I could probably play with the settings and then maybe get it to work fine, but I'm going to show you that the sound quality gets distorted. It sometimes will work fine, sometimes it will not, um, but hopefully it, it gives problems now. Let's see if, it, as you can hear, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's like having a problem playing the music. Uh, it's like lagging. And so, like I said, it could be something to do with the settings portion of it. And when there's less demand, then it works fine. And then when the higher demand part of it comes up again, then it starts to struggle. Uh, sorry, my camera is getting out of focus here. But I want to kind of show you guys the amount of um, lagging that you get from this game. So far, this has been the main one that's been giving me issues. Um, the other games that I've got haven't had any real issues. But it's kind of sad because this is one of the games that I wanted to play. And I may not be able to play it uh, through the uh, Richard Pocket here. Anyways, I'm going to get out of that and um, go into the Wii side of it. So the Wii side is uh, really hit and miss. Um, I haven't really figured out some of the things too. So some of the things I, I like um, with the nunchuck controller and stuff like that, I haven't really figured that part of it out yet. But I'm going to show you, I think I showed in the last video what happens with some of the games. Uh, some work very well. Some are perfect. Um, I'm going to play this Mario Kart here and Mario Kart is very perfect. You don't have any issues. Um, and one thing is when you use this, this emulator, you're going to have to be switching back and forth, uh, with the settings just so that, um, things work with you. So let's just get that here. So I'm going to play the Mario Kart here. Can't remember what the settings were. May have to change it or whatever, but yeah, I just want to get to the gameplay so that way you guys can see that it works fine. Sorry, the camera keeps getting out of focus because I'm filming kind of late. So, as you can see, it works fine. There's no real stuttering with the sound or anything like that. Um, gameplay is pretty straightforward. 
and it's responding to the controls. It's not like um, it doesn't respond. So, as you can see here. So, as you can see, this game is fine. And I'm going to get out of it. And uh, sound quality, everything is fine. One issue, uh, so I showed it in the last video, is games like Oregon Trail for some odd reason. It just really struggles real hard with it when the file itself is not, um, it's not very large, but somehow or another, it uh, really struggles with this game. And you're going to encounter that it's not perfect. So it sounds like it loads fine at first, but when you start to get to the gameplay part of it, um, it starts to lag, which is fine. I mean, uh, it's not perfect, but to be able to play even some games, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. And again, it may be corrected with possibly playing with the settings and playing with the, uh, the you know, the, uh, what do you call it? The emulation part, the settings on that, and then See, as you can hear, it's struggling with the sound again. It's lagging on the sound part of it. And uh, that's just that. Uh, other things are pretty much smooth. I mean, these are all kind of low-demand games. And the other thing that I don't really quite understand yet is the control part of it. Um, I don't think this is one that requires that you use a nunchuck or whatever, but I can't figure out how to get that going. I'll see, it would say stuff like this, remove your Wii Remote Extension Controller. Don't know exactly how to do that. Um, I've been looking at the settings and um, yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do actually. But I'll figure it out eventually. But I just wanted to demonstrate to you guys basically the simple parts of the emulation. So that's fine. Uh, Manhunt, I can't load it to uh, because of the... Um, controller restrictions again so eventually I'm gonna get that fixed because I want to play those games but this also works fine but this is also a old game that was for Super Nintendo I think that came out originally so this also works fine um, and uh, I mean these Monopoly games that I have here they work fine I play it actually pretty much every night for whatever reason I do not know why but I really enjoy playing it uh, the Super Mario I believe this worked fine I'm not quite sure actually but we can check it out so when it says stuff like that you probably will have to get into the settings part of it um, so when this happens you need to get into the settings oops sorry so we'll get into the settings and then you're going to have to constantly do this for um, certain games. So you're going to have to do like the upright or the side remote kind of thing and turn things off, turn things on um, just so that uh, you can get the game to work. So that is one annoying thing about this part. But once you get it all sorted, as I don't have it sorted now, but once you do get it all sorted, I can't remember off the top of my head what I'm supposed to do. But anyways, um, yeah, so once you get it all sorted, it, it'll work fine. Um, I was playing it before. I don't know what happened, but you just got to take my word for it on that. Uh, so going back to it. Um, I don't really have much selection of games here yet. Eventually, I'll go through more games. Um, going back to the GameCube side, uh, here's Lost Kingdom. It's supposed to be an RPG game. I've never played it again. I've never played any of these games um, because I've never had any of these systems before, so I don't know what it's supposed to really be like. But majority of what I have right now, I haven't had any issues. So, And this looks like it also is going to be fine oops so if you guys are curious about the nintendo portion of it basically all the nintendo i, have, I don't have the switch yet 
and switch actually doesn't work too well on the retroid pocket at least this version um, and I said in the last video that they are developing a retroid pocket 5 which will be with a snapdragon um, I'm not sure how that's going to be either because I don't have it I'm not sponsored by this company but I mean hopefully it'll work better and as you can see here this game is also fine and uh, if you guys have any particular game that you were curious about seeing if it works and like I said I mean this Final Fantasy game does not work well um, the Oregon Trail does not work well um, some of these games you're gonna have to tweak around with the controllers to get them to work right um, maybe graphic issues or whatever uh, emulation um, I can't remember what they call it but the two times speed of it may help it to work smoother I'm not quite sure because I haven't actually gone into details um, as for battery life uh, when you're playing the Wii side of it not so much the GameCube the Wii side of it will get warmer so it probably would be better that you switch on the fan and you can easily switch on the fan through the options here so there is a fan button here that will switch on the fan on the back uh, that'll keep your uh, your your phone or whatever your emulator if you want to call this a phone or whatever because it is just a phone um, it'll keep it cooler so if you're playing in a warmer climate that I would recommend putting it on especially if you're using for the Wii side of things you don't want to burn out the system but uh, like I said if you guys have any questions comments I'm gonna go through PlayStation next I'm gonna make some videos on that I don't again I don't have too many games on PlayStation because I had a PlayStation I played quite a bit of games uh, more about replaying on the PlayStation and for the PlayStation I use the duck station so uh, like I said, I don't want to make a huge video covering everything all at one go. This is mainly to cut it in pieces so people can just watch uh, what they want to watch. So that's all I have for you guys today. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, next time, like I said, I will be covering the duck station part, which is the PlayStation. So see you guys next time. Thanks.